Hey guys, um, so I finally decided to come round and actually do this video. I was supposed to do this like summertime last year, um, but to be honest with you, I actually wanted to try the machine out for a while so that I could give you guys a proper review about what I thought. So um, if you haven't already seen the title, I am going to be telling you about the Philips Lumia prestige IPL machine that I purchased last year um, and so far I've been using this on my face and on my legs um, and I think by now I've definitely got a good idea of whether it's something I'd recommend or um, if it's kind of worth the investment. So when I purchased the machine it came in a bag like this um, and I bought this off Amazon so I didn't buy it off the official Philips um, website and I've just got a few notes so I don't forget. Um, I bought this off World Tech UK, which is, um, it's a seller on Amazon and basically they've got a really good sale on actually right now. I purchased it for 409, but currently they've got it on for 388, which is really good. That's like over 150 quid to save. Um, so yeah, it came like this and inside it's got the machine itself. You've got a charger, comes with it, looks like that. And the one I've got was, it came with three different um, like settings that you that you put in the head. Um, so it has this one, which is um, the one for the face. It has this one, which is for the underarms and bikini um, area. And then this one, which is like the largest kind of face so probably for the legs I'd use this one for. So I've been using this probably for um well I've had about I noted six sessions on my face and I've done four sessions on my legs. Have I seen um you know an effect in terms of my hair growth? 100% I have. Um my hair is a lot less than when it used to be um I don't go to get my legs waxed or anything now I don't really need to yes I have to shave them to keep you know obviously to keep them hair free um but not as much as I would do if I had to go and get them waxed and actually the hair growth is tiny it's very little um and on my face especially just right now I've got some mascara and Carmex on right now um it just looks so clear like just not having hair even here, like I used to get, I mean, I want to actually do a little bit more here. I want to kind of go a bit higher. So probably just try and get rid of like this little fuzzy bit here. But just, it used to kind of like cast a shadow. And now my skin looks clearer. Um, my makeup just sits on my face so much better as well. And I think that's definitely because of, I don't get the hair that I used to. I'm going to show you um, and just explain really quickly how I use it. So... Whether you're doing your legs, your face, your bikini area, your underarms, you just basically prep by shaving first. So wherever you want to use the laser machine, shave your skin and then um, use the machine. <laughs> so there's the on button there. And I'm now going to look for what level I should be using on my skin. So I'm just going to press that. And it kind of flashes like this. So as it's flashing, I'm just going to place it on my skin to see what number it says that I should be using. Um, and this is saying now level five, which is interesting because when I first started, it started me on level three. So obviously it, it can it knows that I've been using it regularly and, and it's going up in levels in intensity. So I press the tick. And the button for it is here. So I just place it on my face. That light will go when it's ready. And then literally I just press it. Just like that. And it, I don't really find that, I can smell a bit of burning, which is normal. If you do smell burning, it's absolutely normal. But I don't really feel like it hurts. Sometimes when I do the front of my legs, like on that bony bit, um, it's just like a little pinch. But to be honest with you, I've had my um, underarms lasered in a salon and the pain is minimal compared to that and um, so I'll just do it again so again I'm just going to place it on my skin it's going to flash like that when it's ready 
and that's it just press it and if there's any areas where you can't do um for example if i do here because i've got a tiny forehead um so I, I don't really do my forehead and stuff but can you see i've got some hair here if i do that it usually turns red um which it's not doing now when i'm trying to demonstrate it but if i try and do like my bikini area like there's some areas which are really sensitive and that will basically go red so it will say it will not say but it'll basically show that you can't use it in that area some of the questions that um i've been asked is is it good for facial hair well yes um mine's definitely gone i used to even get like little like fuzzy bits here it's all completely gone um and does it work well like i said it's worked for me i don't think i've got to a point where i don't need to do sessions anymore like i think i still need to keep up to date with it i probably don't use it you should use it like every month or every other month as you start to have more sessions but with my legs for example i did like six sessions i hadn't used it for three months um but the hair growth was still so minimal i felt like i didn't really need another session um but after this i will probably do one session on my legs but um if i keep doing that and maybe every two months do it then it probably gets to a point where i need to use it a lot less is it painful i mean like i said it's just like a pinch um i don't really feel like it's painful um i know when my mum uses it she does find that it is a bit painful for her but i think it does depend on pain threshold i think in comparison to when you go to the salon and you have um you know soprano ice laser or any other form of ipl um by the way this isn't soprano ice there are so many different like laser options out there when you go to a professional salon you, this is an at-home device you might get better results if you do go and get it done in the salon i can't justify spending like three thousand pounds nearly to get a whole body laser done um when really it's just like my full my legs that i wanted done my underarms have already had lasered and i wanted to do my face and just having the machine at home and knowing i can top it up was convenient for me um so for a 400 pound investment in comparison to sometimes spending over 100 pounds per session um when you go to a professional salon it was justified so in that sense depending on how much it is in your local salon I would recommend it because I think that you do save a lot of money um but again you might have different results to what I do it really does depend on the um your skin tone what your hair is like how dark it is how light it is your hair growth your natural hair growth um but overall I've had a good experience my mum does my cousin who had this before me um she'd been using it and she hadn't really used it that much but she definitely said the few times that she had used it she found a difference too so um and we are all indian basically so from what i can say in terms of like skin color and hair growth for like indian women it's worked pretty well um and yeah I would definitely actually recommend this. I think it is worth the investment, like I said. And if there's any questions that I've not answered here, like please let me know. Um, it is on sale at the moment. So it's like £380. I would recommend going to get it because that's even less than what I paid for it. Um, and the World Tech UK, who I bought it from, it was really trustworthy. Like I Googled it beforehand um, and they were a trustworthy supplier. So yeah, if you've got any questions, then feel free to DM me um, and ask away. And I hope you helped.